my expectations for this trip were they were kind of high, but at the same time, I didn't really know what I was expecting at all. I didn't know much other than we were going to do heart surgeries every day to save people's lives because without the surgery, they only had a couple months to live. All I knew coming into it was I'm flying to Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm going to meet Dr. Marks and his team there. In 2004 and 2005, uh, I was asked by a uh, uh, retired uh, cardiologist if we could look at the films of a young, of a young patient from Honduras who had uh, mitral valve problems. Uh, since then, we've taken three mission trips to San Pedro mostly doing heart valve surgery on uh, young adults. The team of uh, heart surgery professionals are all my friends. They're all people I work with every day. They're the anesthesiologists, the scrub nurses, the perfusionists who run the heart-lung machine, the recovery unit nurses, and, and students. They give up uh, a week of their vacation time in order to help uh, the people that we operate on. I could stay in Honduras and operate on young adults for the rest of my life with three teams of surgeons and we would never do the job that needs to be done. How does Proctor Academy fit into San Pedro Sula, Honduras? The experiential learning, giving of yourself, the difficulty in stepping outside a comfortable box doesn't all come from Proctor. Most, much of it comes from our parents and our families. But Proctor sure cements that and hammers at home every day. There are many high schools where you could reply to an email and then a week and a half later you're in Honduras, you know, scrubbed in, touching a heart. It's experiential learning at its finest. It, that's why I love Proctor. It's, that's the beauty of Proctor.